good day. We are the Group 7, Margo Esparagosa, J. Rose Taranza, are here with me to present our research study entitled Ready-Made Mathematics, Digital Game-Based Learning, and Academic Achievement of Students. According to our review and related literature, many research studies have been undertaken that only focus on the emotional and behavioral aspects of students' attitudes toward learning and teaching mathematics to them. A few researchers have also looked into the drawbacks and deficiency of using DGBL to teach mathematics in the classroom. The researchers nevertheless discovered a research gap, and their goal is to ascertain the connection between student academic achievement and digital game-based learning. SOP number one. What is the demographic profile of grade 12 students of Osebal Santos High School in terms of Table number 1, Gender The table number 1 shows that the porting respondents consist 57.1% female students and 42.9% male students. In conclusion, more female participants answered the survey questionnaire. Next, the Table 1.1 consists of the demographic profile of grade of students of Oseba and Santos High School in terms of age. Table 1.1 shows the 0% of the respondents were under 20 years old, 14.3% were 19 years old, and 0% were under 17 years old. The highest percentage was 18 years old in 85.7% of the respondents. And last, the Table 1.2, which consists the demographic profile of grade 12 students of Oseba and Santos High School in terms of academic strand and section. In the Table 1.2, the data shows equal scores in STEM knowledge, STEM wisdom, STEM understanding, Hume's love, Hume's peace, Hume's hope, and Hume's faith, with the percentage of 14.3% indicating respondents were equally qualified in each trend. For the SOP2, which determines the correlation between academic achievement and hours spent playing digital games as their learning technique of students and respondents prefer digital games. The table 2 shows the correlation between the academic achievement of students and hours spent playing digital games as their learning technique. The table provided refers to a statistical analysis conducted to investigate the relationship between the two variables. This data shows that the R value is 0 0.9257, which is greater than 0 0.70. Therefore, the student's academic achievement average and their hours spent playing digital mathematical games have a strong relationship, so they are strongly correlated with each other. Next is the Table 2.1 shows that offline games are preferred for learning mathematics by 71.3% of respondents as they facilitate concepts and, provides, uh, and provide a tactile quality. Online games, on the other hand, have a frequency of 28.6%. The Table 3 shows the overview of five different mathematical skills that students can acquire by playing mathematical games as their learning technique. In question number one, the data shows that the majority of 100% of the respondents strongly agree regarding the said matter. To sum up, the majority of respondents said that playing digital mathematical games can enhance their logical and critical thinking skills. In question number two, the table says that most respondents strongly agree that playing digital mathematical games increases resourcefulness with 92.66% and 7.14% 7, 7 supporting this view. For the question number three, the table says that majority of respondents said that playing digital mathematical games can stimulate their visualization of mathematical ideas with a 92.86% percentage and 7.14% votes agree. 
Moreover, the question number four table says that most respondents strongly agree that playing digital mathematical games improves problem solving skills with 92.66% and 7.14% supporting this view. Finally, the question number five table says that most respondents strongly agree that playing digital mathematical games enhances engagement in learning. One of the computer-based teaching methods for mathematics is game-based learning, which encourages participation from students in social and enjoyable contexts. According to the research done for the study, students prefer offline games over online games. This study found that playing ready-made mathematics digital games has a strong positive relationship with academic achievement of grade 12 students enrolled in the academic strand at the Seabad Santa Senior High School. By collecting respondents, each was tallied and divided by the total number of tallies in all criteria. Then, the quotient was converted to a percentage by multiplying it by 100. According to the gathered data from the survey, most of them got the highest general average because they spent more time playing ready-made mathematical digital games. There is evidence that ma playing mathematical digital games can affect the academic achievement of students and enhance their learning comprehension in mathematics. This indicates that statistically, there is a significant relationship between the two variables. The data gathered indicates that there is a significant correlation between playing ready-made mathematical digital games and academic achievement of students at the Seabad Santa Senior High School, thus accepting the alternative hypothesis and rejecting the null hypothesis. For the recommendation, future researchers can learn from the study about the potential benefits of playing ready-made digital games that incorporate the concept of mathematics and the connection between DGBL and students' academic achievement. The research gap for the study was discovered as the investigation was being conducted. To obtain most reliable data results, the experts advise collecting a sample from a bigger population. Pay attention to the other areas of learning as well, not simply mathematics. Finally, the researchers advise developing a game that is interactive, user-friendly, and student-friendly, and that incorporates a mathematical topic that will help students succeed in school. Now, um, uh, uh, based on the picture, here is the sum of the ready-made mathematics digital games. First is the Toon Math. The features of the game is it is an endless run and adventure. The strength, offline game, safe, engaging, fun, and interactive. The skills that can be acquired by playing this game is that problem-solving skill, critical thinking skill, and resourcefulness. The second one is the Prodigy Math Kids game. The features of the game, it is a role-playing game, adventure. The strength is free online game, safe, engaging, fun and interactive. The skills that can be acquired by playing this game is that critical thinking skills, resourcefulness, problem solving, and analytical thinking skills. Thank you for listening.